This is John T for the Boxing Voice, talking to cruiserweight amateur sensation, Jack Daly. How you doing, Jack? Hello there. It's good to hear from you. Yeah, good you too. Yeah, good, good. Good to talk to you as well, mate. Right, so it's your first time on our site, so uh, I've done a lot of research on you, but why don't you tell us a little bit about what got you into boxing and certainly your amateur career, because I think you're about to go pro pretty soon. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Once uh, Corona and all that is out of the way, move straight into the pro game, see what's uh, cracking. Good stuff. So what got you into boxing in the first place? So I was a bit of a late starter. I didn't have any uh, junior bouts at all. I only started boxing at 18. I've been boxing for four seasons now. Uh, originally, it's always been something I wanted to give a go. But I just never had the time growing up. And I got to 18 and I was like, I wanted an outlet. I just had to give it a go. I originally wanted to do MMA. Gyms there were too expensive. So I thought I'll go into boxing for a little bit have one or two fights, and then I just end up falling in love with the sport, and I've just been in love with it ever since. But uh, I've been boxing for about four seasons now. So, so only managed... four years, your, your amateur pedigree, which we're going to talk about in a second, is fantastic. Mm. But you haven't been doing it uh, too long. How many fights have you had amateur-wise? I've had close to 40. Close to 40, yeah. And how many have you won? 30-something, 30, 30 so a majority. Good stuff. So that, that's a good record then. So mm. tell us a little bit about that. I think you, you've got some national records you want to talk about. Yeah, so uh, as I said, boxing for four seasons, I managed to pick up two national bronze medals, two national silver medals and uh, one national gold, the national champion once. And uh, as well as that, I'm also this current Southern area belt holder, reigning and defending. So yeah, Excellent. it's going all right. At, at Cruiserweight, yeah? Oh, Aye, yeah. yes, Cruiserweight. Uh, yeah. good stuff. And and you've been abroad as well, is that right? Yes, back in 2018, I was lucky enough to uh, be selected in uh, London versus Las Vegas, England versus America. Well, so we did. managed to fly over there, uh, managed to headline, got the win, also got to train in uh, the Mayweather gym and visit wow. a few other gyms out there. So it was good, a good experience. Wow, getting to go in the Mayweather gym. I mean, he's my favourite fight of all time. So I've actually been there, but only outside for a picture where they're <laughs> lucky enough to get in there. So that's really good. What was that like? Did you see anyone in there? Any faces you know? So I met Badu Jack. Um, we didn't actually manage to see Floyd, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, we met his uncle. We met a few other pros there. I was lucky enough to do a bit of spying with a few uh, upcoming prospects out there. So that was good. You know, it was a... Uh, really good uh, experience to have yeah that's great to get that under your belt so you say you, you met his uncle was that roger yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, it, was, it was good to meet him got a few photos and whatnot i i've met roger as well i've been out of vegas a few times a couple of times twice once mayweather himself I bumped into roger in the casino uh, and had a picture <laughs> of him which is really cool he's a bit of a character himself am i right i think he might be passed away recently yeah, yeah, I'm afraid he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. not good. Right, so what kind of style can we expect from you, Jack? Sorry, say again. What kind of style are you? You know, you come forward fighter. Are you a bit defensive? I have a few different styles. It depends. Um, I do focus a lot on defense. You know, it's it's good to knock someone out and hurt them, but I do like the art, slipping, countering, outclassing people. That's particularly what I like. Um, but yeah, I'm mostly a, uh, a slipper counter puncher. So yeah. Yeah. Anyone who wants to go and check you out on Instagram, I've seen them videos myself of good level fights. Yeah. We just seem to be slipping and sliding. Very, very defensive. Very clever. So that's yeah. good stuff. All right. Well, look. Let's talk a little bit about the cruiserweight scene. Then you're about to go pro soon, and hopefully you'll have a great career ahead of you. Um, did you watch? I know it's not cruiserweight, but what were your thoughts on Usyk stepping up? Obviously, what did you think about the fight with Derek at heavyweight? <sighs> I thought I thought Usyk done a good job. I thought Derek started way too fast. I think he came out of there, tried to catch him cold. Uh, he started to fade towards the end of the fight, and uh, Usyk just showed his class and just uh, outboxed him and you know, did what he does best. Yeah, like, yeah. he's fantastic. In terms of boxing skills, uh, he's got to be up there for pound to pound. What do you think about if he steps up against the bigger heavyweights? Your AJs, your Furies, do you think he can handle their power? Or indeed, has he got the power himself? I don't know about the power. Um, apart from the big Tony Bell you knock out, he hasn't showed a lot of power. He showed class. 
I know looking back at his amateur fight against Joe Joyce, he can definitely handle a, a, a taller, rangy opponent. I think Joshua would be a good fight. I think it's not a, it's not crazy to think that he could beat Joshua. As for Fury, I, I don't know about Fury, though. Fury's a one of a kind. So who, who do you think's better while we're on it than out of Joshua and Fury if they fight next year? Uh, personally, I'd have, to, I'd have to back Fury. You know, he's slick, hits and moves. Uh, it's uh, my kind of fight I like to watch. That's the fight everyone wants to watch. Bookies will have Fury slightly favourite, I think, but it is, would always be a close fight. Probably the biggest fight we've ever had in this country as well. But yeah. that'll be something to look forward to. What about the upcoming uh, cruiserweight fight of Akoli? So he's fighting for a world title, I think it's in December, on the Joshua undercard. How yeah. great his chances at getting a belt there? I think uh, I think fighting Glowacki now is... It's a good move. It's a good move. It'll only be his fault if it's 15th fight. Mm-hmm. But I think Lackey's on the downward slide. Uh, he lost his last fight. And he starts to tire. And I know Akoli goes down to that body. Um, and he'll, I see a late stoppage for Akoli in that fight. Do you think he'll get the belt then? That's that's interesting. Yeah. I must admit, it's another close fight where I'm not so sure Eddie Irwin would put in with him if he thinks he'd get beat anyway. So yeah. Uh, yeah. they obviously fancy their chances. Yeah, yeah, good so. stuff. Right, and what back to yourself then? Um, have you got have you are you got anyone in mind that you're going to sign with yet? Have you got any promoters that are looking at you, or are you waiting to get COVID out of the way and then go looking? I've got a couple in mind. Um, I am hanging back until COVID's out of the way. Um, we have the Open Class Championships in March, I believe. If that's going ahead, I'll probably do that and turn over. And if not, I will just focus on turning over. But uh, yeah, match room. MT Clay Goble, Frank Warren, get in touch. Yeah, good stuff. I like it. Okay, mate. Well, look, really good catching up with you. Um, we look forward to when you have turned pro, come and see you down the gym, get some footage of you moving around and some movement, and then uh, look forward to your first fight. Any shout? Have you got any sponsors or anything yet in mind? It might be a bit early for that at the moment, is it? I haven't yet, no. I haven't yet. I say, you want to give them a shout out, but no worries. We'll do that next time. Okay. But, uh, Great. I like to shout out to my Instagram if that's all right. Yeah, sure. Go on. What is your Instagram? It's Jack underscore daily, D A L Y underscore boxing. You know, check it out. Give me a like and a follow. See if you like the content. Good stuff, mate. Look, great first interview, and I look forward to catching up with you soon, all right? Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. Cheers, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace